Would you treat an MS attack during a viral pandemic? And we're gonna start talking about it right now. Hey! Howdy. Thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. I started this YouTube channel to help my own MS clinic patients learn between visits. And it's my hope that through these videos, I can help you learn too. We are all dealing with a global viral pandemic, COVID-19. I am seeing the vast majority of my patients via telemedicine to ensure the safety of my patients, their families, and our clinic staff. This week, I dealt with a difficult situation on telemedicine, and I wanted to spend a few minutes talking with you guys about it today. A lovely young lady that I take care of in her mid has not very lovely MS. Previously, she's had breakthrough attacks despite taking and later despite taking she has been relatively stable taking every monthly infusions for many years now. She did have one attack on a few years back and at the time we opted to keep on keeping on and we reconnected on telemedicine. She's in her living room, sitting on her couch with her husband, who's got his arm around her. I'm in my office, and we're doing a telemedicine visit. And when we start off, I asked her how she was doing, to which she said, I'm not sure, I don't think I'm doing great. She begins to explain that about a month and a half ago, she developed burning sensations in her legs, and the fronts of her legs feel like they're on fire. At times, the intensity of the burning is a 7 out of 10. In, in a good situation, it goes down to about a four out of 10. So we're talking about a moderately to severely intense pain that she's living with. She takes a medicine called which works very well to treat neuropathic pain. And she was given instructions to go up and it didn't touch the pain. I asked a few other questions. She shares with me that she's having difficulty swallowing her pills. Moreover, she admits to having some very serious cog fog. And both of those symptoms have gone on now for almost a month. Now the story is further complicated because a couple weeks into this discomfort, she developed a sinus infection, which required not one, but two rounds of antibiotics. Recently, they ruled out another upper respiratory tract infection or a urinary tract infection. And so I don't think that we're dealing with a pseudo exacerbation. To make matters worse, because of the sinus infection, her was delayed. She gets every four weeks and now she's seven weeks out. She's recovered from her sinus infection and her legs are burning. What do we do? She's at home during a viral pandemic. She's not leaving her house. Her husband is considered key personnel and is required to go into work. They are practicing best measures. He wears a mask at work. He comes home and changes his clothes, showers before he comes into the house to see his wife. And otherwise, I think they're doing a very good job of social distancing and staying clean, washing hands, etc. So what do we do with this very real world situation? We had to discuss, do we wait? Do we treat what I think is an MS attack? If so, would you use high dose oral steroids or would you use IV? And we also had to decide, what do we do about continuing the If you are thinking through this case with me, I want you to formulate in your mind what you would do. Would you treat an MS attack during a viral pandemic? These were the questions that we had to face. And right now I'm gonna share with you the decisions that we made. The patient, her husband and I discussed the reality of her symptoms. They were deemed to be intolerable. And we felt that the better part of Valor was in fact to treat her attack. The risk benefit favored treating her in our opinion. Now I run an infusion center and I could bring her into our infusion bays and we could give her high dose IV steroids, but I didn't feel that the risk of exposure was in her best interest. And so instead we're gonna use high dose pills. She is having trouble swallowing guys and we know that. And so we talked about ways of grappling with taking high dose pills for three days in a row. I'm going to be seeing her either in clinic, in office, or more likely on camera, depending on the viral pandemic, in one month's time. And this is to ensure recovery. She, of course, will call me if there's anything that happens over the course of the next month before our next official meeting. We agreed that two strikes on is too, too many. She's now had two attacks despite this highly effective drug, and we think it's time to part ways with 
But you can't just stop cold turkey because of a risk of rebound. And so we came up with a mitigation strategy. She's taking high dose steroids right now. A month later, she's not getting any We're gonna give her one day of high dose corticosteroids. A month after that, another one day of high dose corticosteroids. By pulsing corticosteroids once monthly for three months, it's my intention to slow the return of her white blood cells that had pushed outside in the bloodstream to slowly bring them back into the brain. This slow return of the cells should help mitigate the risk of a rebound. Now, obviously, this woman has very serious MS and we can't go without a disease-modifying therapy. And so we discussed two other high-efficacy medicines that we might consider using. I've given her homework assignments of reading up on the medicines and watching a few videos that I've made on the medicines. And when we talk in one month, we're gonna discuss further. I wanted to share this case with you because this is the real world. These are real life human beings dealing with a very real nasty autoimmune condition, and they're doing it in the complexities of the current COVID pandemic. If you would like to learn more about MS and making treatment decisions, click the video that's on your screen right now. Go ahead and click it. My name's Aaron Boster, and thank you for learning about MS with me. Until my next video or my next live stream, be safe and take care.